All right, to make the lines behind our word, we're gonna use a light table here for tracing. I made a little template for you guys with the brick lines. You're gonna use white oil pastel on white paper, so that can be a little bit tricky to see where you've drawn. So you wanna keep track of what you've drawn and where you've drawn your lines. I suggest starting with the top, or sorry, the horizontal lines at the top. You're gonna be drawing the lines where you see them behind your word, but you're not going to draw straight over your word, okay? So you're going to jump past it. So keep track of those lines and using, I have two light tables you can use, you're going to um, trace those and then you'll be ready to watercolor. Okay, I'm back to my original example here, and it's hard to tell, but I have the white oil pastel already drawn in. Grab your watercolors and your water, and you're going to get started. I'm going to put water down in the beginning um, so that we have the wet on wet technique so your colors will blend nicely. want to make sure to not get the water onto your words or the paint onto your words. Okay, I went ahead and used oil pastel around the edge of my letters also. You can do that too just to make sure that you don't get paint onto your letters, but you don't have to. Um, I am now painting with color and I'm going to just blend my colors together as I'd like to. I try to keep track of what colors are in the letters so that they'll contrast nicely with the colors that I'm choosing on the wall. So if I have blue, Behind, on, on that C there, I'm changing the color to green below just so that the blue stands out. 